I was a four-time kickboxing world champion. For 12 years, I trained five hours a day, six days a week. And I was motivated to train probably about 25% of the time. Mm. The rest of the time I went because I am disciplined. You don't feel like going through that shit on a Wednesday morning when you wake up, but you have to do it because you're disciplined. You're either a disciplined individual or you are not a disciplined individual. To sit there and say a shit spiral, what does that mean? You go on Pornhub or you start clicking on cat videos on YouTube. Like if you really wanted money, you would, you would not do that. So you don't really want it. There's, there's, there's a difference between want and want. People say to me, I want to be rich. And I say, okay, well, I want to be able to ice skate, but I don't want to be able to ice skate enough to go learn how to ice skate because I can't be bothered. I, I mean, surely if I could click my fingers and be a figure skater, I'd, I'd click my fingers. Who wouldn't? Well, I don't want to actually go train. This is the exact point with money. Everyone wants money put on their lap. If you truly wanted money, you wouldn't be able to sleep until you fucking had it. Yep. And this is the point. So you're saying you go down a shit spiral, then then you're not cut out to be rich, my friend. Get a job in Starbucks and piss off. Some people, because when I had nothing, I couldn't be distracted. You couldn't distract me from what I wanted. That's who I am. If I want something, I'm going to get it. So I, I, I don't know what more you want me to say. I, I do not need to be motivated. I'm a disciplined person. If I allocate X amount of time to work, I'm going to do it. But that is the bottom line answer. It's discipline. You're going to have to work when you don't feel like working. That's how it's going to have to be, or you're never going to be eating. Yeah. One of the only things in this world you can control is your state of mind. You can't control the weather. You can't control other people. You can't even control your health. You might get a brain hemorrhage, or you might get hit by a bus, or you might get assassinated. One of the very few things in the world you have genuine control over is your state of mind. You decide if you're a disciplined person. You decide if you're a happy person. You decide if you're a uh, depressed person. These are things that in real time you can affect in your brain. This is all you can control on Earth. If you can't yeah. control that, then you're just a feather in the wind. And life's going to blow you around and you might land somewhere good. You might land in dog shit. Nobody knows. So if you're going to be that kind of person, then you're at, like you, like you said it perfectly, you're, you have no will, then you're just at the whims of the earth. Who knows? You're going to watch something on TV and they're going to tell you something and you're going to believe it. And you're going to march and hold the sign. and blah, blah. You're going to be a, you're going to be an idiot. Yeah. Your state of mind is what you should be able to control. If you can't wake up and say, today I'm making some money and actually try your very, very best and actually stay dedicated to that task. If you can't do that, you're fucked.